it anything you like, just don't call it redistribution. A new report in the New York Times claiming that the White House deliberately banned this word, the R word, from being used to describe the president's signature legislation, Obamacare, despite the growing number of Americans who say that's exactly what it is. Leslie Marshall, Fox News contributor, Senator Radio Talk Show host, and Mike Slater, Radio Talk Show host from San Diego's KM, KFMB and Sirius' yep. Patriot Station. How are you guys doing? A good morning to both hey, of you. Good morning, Bill. Mike, it's the dreaded R word. Well. Don't go there. No, but it absolutely is redistribution. Of course it is. And if anyone was honest on the left, they would admit it is. That is why <laughs> President... Oh, actually, let me tell you this. The, the worst part about it, it's not just high income to low income. It's young people to old people. This is why uh, Bill Clinton a few weeks ago said, quote, the only way this works is if young people show up. We need to get them lined up. And that's because they got to take money from young people and redistribute it not, to not, older not just people. That, the only I mean, question it's is. The healthy to the unhealthy. It's the um, middle class uh, to men the to poor. Women. Yeah, men to women. Uh, men to women, you have that too. Leslie, now, do you disagree with this characterization? Oh, yes, I do. Thank you for calling me a, a no liar problem. before my coffee kicks in, Mike. Uh, but uh, absolutely not. Redistribution, even if you just look at uh, the Webster's Dictionary uh, definition of that word, is when you're redistributing the wealth. So you're basically saying that the rich would take care of the poor. That's not the case here because, quite frankly, there are people that are poor or people middle class or wealthy whose premiums have gone up. And there are people who are wealthy so who are middle you, class who are poor. What do you call this? Whose premiums so it's bad have for everyone. Not. <laughs> Leslie, what do you no, call your argument? No, no. <laughs> No, what I, honestly, what I call it is opportunity. I mean, the people that were not insured, who had pre-existing conditions, the people who were uh, 22 or 23 still in college and not able to stay on their parents' plans, uh, the people that were turned away by insurance companies, or the people that didn't have proper coverage in their plans okay, have right, that. So, so you, if anything, you, you this is all inclusive. It opportunity, interesting, novel. From and the, all from and the all New inclusive. York Times, it reads this. <laughs> It's been hidden away to make the Affordable Care Act more palatable to the public and less a target for Republicans, Mike. Of course. Listen, th th there's no such thing as a free lunch. And the question is, will the millennials, will the younger voters who supported the president uh, realize that now that their premiums are going to skyrocket? Here's something we talk about on the show all the time. There's a difference between price and cost. The left loves to throw money at things to try to reduce the, the price, but they don't do anything to reduce the cost. Only the free market can actually reduce the cost of something. That's why people in poverty in America have refrigerators and televisions and cell phones. It's because the free market has made the cost go down, and Obamacare does nothing to actually lower the cost. It just takes right, money I'm, I'm and seeing, from other people and throws uh, I'm it. I'm seeing Leslie shake her head there. Go ahead, Leslie, quickly before I get to a <laughs> moment from 2008. I'll give you a shot. Go. Yes. Uh, 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 Mike, uh, thank you for proving the point that we Democrats and the president have been saying. The insurance companies have the power to lower those rates, premiums, the deductibles, co-pays, oh. co-insurance at any time. They did before the Affordable Care Act, and they still do. Uh, because, quite frankly, the Affordable Care Act, as you just rightly said, is not responsible for those rates. That is the insurance companies. And Republican attacks on this plan are going to happen, whether you call it redistribution, uh, whether you call it a gift from a Santa, failure. no matter what you call it, Obamacare. <laughs> Affordable care. Oh, to, to be See, fair, Mike, thank you for proving my fair, point again. Democrats are pretty ticked off about this rollout, too. Now, October of 2008, Holland, Ohio. Remember this? Mm -hmm. If you've got a plumbing business, uh, you're going to be better off if you've got a whole bunch of customers who can afford to hire you. And right now, everybody's so pinched that business is bad for everybody. And, and I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for everybody. Yeah, spread the wealth around. How about that, Mike? Yep. In the rear view well, mirror, that's that dreaded R word, redistribution. Uh, sure. Back in 98, there was a video of Obama making the same claim that he supports redistribution of wealth. But here's the bottom line. The ends do not justify the means. Martin Luther King Jr. said you cannot achieve a moral end, helping people, through an immoral mean taking from people. So the left solution is always to oh. take from people to help another group. And that's lazy. It's lazy as opposed to helping everyone without hurting one group. All right, got it. Leslie, you get the last word here now. 20 seconds. Go. 
I think MLK would be rolling in his grave. I mean, if a child has cancer and they couldn't get insurance, I don't think that's immoral. I think it's quite the opposite to provide that. It's immoral and to I take still feel that the president, the, pre the, pre the, pre the president is. Uh, the president did say that uh, in the past, and absolutely, redistribution is something Democrats believe in, myself as well. But the Affordable Care Act is not about redistribution. It's about everybody having that opportunity in all well, inclusion for benefits. According to this uh, article, that word has been striked from all records. Uh -huh. Thanks to both of you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Leslie. Thank Enjoy you. the debate. Thank you. Appreciate you both coming on today. You Thank you.